I just love how excited Rick gets over turkeys. When there's one coming in, you can hear his his breathing go way up. You can hear his heartbeat if you're sitting next to him. He gets excited when there's a big tom working its way in. He gets really excited. It's just starting to get light out. We're sitting in the blind. We haven't heard one gobble yet. There was birds here at five o'clock yesterday in the field. Um, so I have to think they're nearby, but they're not answering at all, which has me a little bit worried. Because I know there's birds in that other property. But I mean, they're here too. It's just a matter of when they come through. But you'd think they'd be in earshot this morning. They, they've been pretty vocal here in the mornings. Yeah. And we're not hearing nothing this morning anywhere. I saw a trash bag last night. Yeah. Down that little swell again. It is Sunday. Uh, this is Rick's last real good day. And you only got two days after this and then... Uh, yeah, probably going to be filled with work. Yeah, so you got to kill one. Usually we hear goblin over in there, goblin over in here. There's nothing going on out there. Update. Um, we got a couple gobbles over here on the other end of the field where we want them. Um, the last one sounded pretty close, so feeling a little better now. I mean, it isn't uh, the ton of goblin we had last time, but we got two gobbles over there in the area they come from where they have a direct path without having to go through swamp. So I do believe they're roosted right over here. One of them sounded like he was on the edge again, where Curly was. Could be the same bird, and he was just facing the other direction, the first gobble. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but um, I feel better. I feel better now that we got gobbles. Yeah, me too. Somewhere right out there. Tom in the back. Oh, yeah, they're going down to the bottom again. Okay. I kind of figured they would go down to that bottom, but hopefully they come up here eventually. So we've got the uh, the turkeys moving. Oh, it looks like trash bag in the middle there, hey? Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. Looks like they're following the hen. That's why they're going that route. Yeah, the trash bag in the middle. Um, the time behind it is smaller. Where are they? See him through here. There you are. Damn, things blurry again. We should have freaking set up down there. They'll come up here. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to do any call and let them know we're over here again? I already did. They they know where we're at. So they're all coming down right through here. My camera's focusing on this stuff and I don't want to put it in manual. But they're coming right down here and they're going to go down here again, which is what they do. But we're hoping they come back up here. Last time they came within range. Last time we saw them up here. So, we'll just give them a little cluck or two and see if we can pull some of those hens. But that's a big group of hens. But not all the toms are there. There's only two. But the one that matters is there. Alright. I don't know, those still look the same size though. Yeah, they do to me too. So trash it could be, It could be the one in the middle. But I'm not, at this range, I'm not sure. They, he doesn't look two times the size of the other one. But he's no. bigger. Yeah, the hens are just sitting on the edge of the grass. 
and you see how they're fanning towards us? They see our decoys. They heard us call. Trash bacon might be coming yet. I'm gonna put my mask on. Yeah, well, in a minute. What do you think? If he comes here, he's dead. That's not very nice. Do you not like him or what? No. I'm the undertaker. I'm going to take his ass out. <laughs> and they're in the grass now. So they're going to cruise all the way down to the bottom again. So, it'll be a little bit. We should. first your first thought but patience know. Rick patience I mean kill mode dude kill mode I think you're coming eventually I think what we're going to have to do is maybe slip that window closed, we'll open this one. I don't know, maybe you can leave that like it is, just in case they get around us somehow, but I think when they come up, they're going to come up right along this edge, if they come up. Okay. So I'll get this one open, we're going to have to have masks on and all that kind of crap. We could put this window halfway up, so it's darker. We could, yeah. The sun's over here, so it's kind of going that way, so we're not going to have too much sun in here, but they're in that lower grass now. So, uh, we've been watching the toms for about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. Um, they've gone down to that corner. They're hanging with a group of hens can't really film them very well because it's little side windows and stuff but the trend has been that they've come up along this edge within range um, and we're just waiting them out so it's taking a while yeah just like the last but time. they're here they're in the field I think we got a good shot it's just a matter of them coming up in within within range the last time we saw them here, I mean, they ended up, they were about 60 or 70 yards from this blind when they went through. But we de got decoys out. Hopefully they walk over by the decoys to check them out. Closer. Yeah. yeah. I can't even see decoys. They're kind of close. Yeah, a little tease call every now and then might just bring them just that extra 10 yards to 50 yards or whatever. Right. So we'll just keep watching them until they uh, come over. The turkeys were down there. They went over to here. I don't know if they entered this grass yet or not, but they're down there someplace. If they go that way, it's kind of a dead end. They usually end up going up this tree line and end up right behind us here. Um, so I'm hoping that's what's going on. Either that or they come walking up this edge to us. But my bet would be they'd drop right through here and then come up. There's a lot of turkey sign along that tree line, so I think they're doing it. What time is it? 7.15. Yeah, it seems like it's 3 in the afternoon we've been in here so long. I'm not used to sitting in a blind crap. Well, we can go running if you want. Well, now we got turkeys in front of us, we really can't. But uh, they went out of sight for quite a while. But uh, uh, I had a few coffees and we had to take a leak. And I peeked around the corner and they are down here 140 yards maybe. Kind of cantering towards us. But that was just one little glimpse. You know, they kind of walk in circles. But they're still hanging there. 
and they tend to end up right up here after they're done down there so we're just gonna keep waiting Let's see what happens Let's see what they do yeah. the wind is picking up too yeah it's getting really windy they're down here behind these bushes He was friendly. He'd tell us where the turkeys are because from up there you can see. Yeah. So we've been sitting here for hours watching these birds. They, they were roosted over there, they flew down, they went over to this corner. We had thought about setting up in that corner, but we'd had to do it without a blind. It's pretty windy, it would have been cold, it would have been hard not to get seen. They hesitated out there for a long time, so I think we'd have been sitting there motionless for hours with them just out of range. Now they're in range, they're right where we would have set up. But they're right in line with the cemetery up here, so I called Dave, and he's gonna drive up there, park, and hopefully push them down here, but they're gonna move somewhere. And then at least we can get out of the blind, you know? But uh, hopefully they come back here. Um, we've gone up there and parked, and they have come back here, so, um, it's worth a shot. Dave's parked up at a cemetery. He says he can't see the birds, so I don't know if they got behind us or if he just doesn't know where to look. I'm gonna sneak out here and take a peek. From up by the road, Dave could see the whole area down by us, but we couldn't from our position. And Dave said that he could see one hen making its way towards us, and the toms were gone. Rick still wanted to stay a little longer. We're at right in the center there. It's not there anymore, but before I thought I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Right in the center. Do you see it? Uh uh. It's right. He just put his head down. The light colored bush there. Just, yeah. Just to the left of it. Down. Down. Okay. I'm going to try to get this camera on a tripod. It may be a... It might be the... I saw some red though. He's right by the yellow stump now. Alright, I'm going to get see this... It, see it? Yep, I do. Yep, I see it. Is that it? I think that's a hit. I'm not too positive, but I, the, the Tom's got to be close by. I'm going to get the camera on a tripod. Even this fly house wants to see what that is. I'm pretty sure it's a hand. Yeah, it looks like a hand. He's walking straight at us. But the palms can't be far behind it. She's really being lured coming this way. She's kind of going the wrong way. What she does. We saw a hen out the back here, and uh, she was just poking her head up a little bit. We watched her for like 10 minutes, and then she went into the wood line. Uh, so we decided we're just gonna go drive around. And I think the toms moved off that way. So we're gonna try to sneak out of here in case they are still around. But okay. it's a possibility you could sit here all day and get a crack, but I don't really want to sit here all day. No. We go give that other spot a try and see what happens. And... Yeah. All right. We didn't see anything driving around, so we went and hit the woods on foot. 
and went to some key areas that are back in more remote where I've had action in the past. We went up to a little high spot in the woods where they hang down here and there's some areas that hang over there and in this position you can hear them no matter where they gobble. Wind's kind of a deterrent. We're waiting in between wind and call. Maybe we can hear a gobble, maybe they can hear us. This was probably going to be Rick's last day to turkey hunt for the turkey season. And I had some things I had to take care of. And Rick did not want to give up. So I took him over to Dave's farm to continue going after that group of turkeys that's been going through there. We actually drove past Dave's and back again to see if the birds were out in the field. We did not see them. So we decided to park and start walking down and we were gonna sit along a hedgerow and Dan just peeked out and he saw the toms uh, when we didn't see them when we were driving. So they came out right as we were walking in. Uh, we thought they, they didn't see us so we backed out. Dan left and I decided to take the tree line on the other side and stay in cover all the way to the blind. Um, so once I got to the blind, I actually talked with Dan. He came back and looked and said the birds were down in the corner. Uh, then he left again, and I was watching down there in the corner, saw two toms and the hen. And then all of a sudden they were gone. So let me show you what happened. Right. Okay, so they were down in that corner. What they did is they went this way behind the ridge. And then all of a sudden, all three of them popped out on top of the ridge right here. And they were coming straight at me. And okay, um, I'm in the blind by myself. I believe I got two big toms and a hen coming right at me. Uh, Dan dropped me off here. We were coming down here but saw him in the field so I had to go another way. Uh, Alright, they were all the way down at that corner. I got very little battery life here. They were all the way down at that corner and came up to the side and came up over this hill and came all the way over here within five or ten minutes. And this was the biggest one out of them. He came right in, right into the blind. I think Dan's gonna be real surprised when I send him a picture. I didn't even call and came right in front of me. I don't know if I got it on video or not because I'm basically out of battery. I could die at any second here. But he came right in and I shot him. So I got, I got flustered, I gotta admit, because the battery, I thought it was just gonna die. So I turned the camera off 
and as they got closer, I actually set it aside. I was just going to shoot one. As they were coming in, I thought maybe there's just enough battery left, which I can't believe it's still running with a red battery. Uh, so there's just an, I thought there'd be just enough left to get the video. And as they were walking up, I turned it on real quick. I got the turkey in, in view. And then I went to raise my gun. I shot. I killed it. And then realized in the film, the turkey just went out of uh, picture after I shot. So that kind of stinks. Another big bird. Holy cow. Look behind you. Huh? Look behind you. The big Tom running up the hill. Dude, did you see that? He ran five feet behind you. You almost stepped on him. <laughs> that is a big, fat, wide bird with little tiny spurs for such a big bird. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Let me see if this is the, the one with the messed up fan. Nope. It's missing the middle feather. It's missing the middle one. We didn't see this one this morning. No, it's a different one. It's a different bird. Well, that's a big bird. Despite his little baby spurs. He's heavy. He's probably, uh, he probably all the other birds probably tease him about that spur. <laughs> Tiny? I'm surprised he doesn't wear boots. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Nice, nice bird, man. Thank you. Cool. So, uh, man, we got four down already. Three of them off this farm. That's got to be a record. Yeah. So, three of them off the farm and the running gun one yesterday. That was exciting. Yeah, all old school with the old shotgun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was good. My 30 year old t shirt. Still wearing it. Yep, I'm, still I'm wearing sure it. I'm sure it'll go another 10 years, Dan. It will. I it's know. gone 30 years. You should let me show them this shirt here. <laughs> Check this out. It's all ripped in the corner here. Yeah, this is nice. I bought this out of a uh, seconds bin at a deer show for two dollars in uh, right around 1993 at the Madison Deer Show. I love this shirt. I couldn't tell that you got it in 1993. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel it again. You do. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I got to get going. I still got a turkey tag. And I can smell some turkeys upwind. Smell that? Thanks for joining us. Hit the hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a message. Appreciate it. See you next time.